YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl Makar from Kruger's Closet. So y'all, listen, I have a wildlife stalker crisis going on here. This is the energy. I really have a wildlife stalker. I am really in trouble. I need some help here. So, so let me start off and tell y'all what happened. So one day I looked out on my porch, right? I saw a squirrel out there. I said, oh, how cute. He was on my little post. So I said, maybe I'll feed him. And then something said, you bet not feed him. You look up, you will have every hoodlum in town in here on this porch. You bet not feed him. So I said, okay. Y'all ain't getting no delicious meals over here because you're going to run and tell a friend and the friend going to tell a friend I'm going to look up at your cousin be over here. And that's exactly what happened. One day I was in the living in the kitchen and I had my music going and I was preparing a meal and I had to wash up and I had the camel crushes going and I was washing dishes and rolling my head back at the same time. Oh, I was in a groove. And I looked up. And it was this damn beaver, or this groundhog, or this warhog, no, not a warhog, but this groundhog or beaver thing, coming towards the screen. And he was sticking his hand underneath the screen, trying to get in. And I'm thinking to myself, oh God, what do I do? Where do I go? If he comes in, where do I go? I didn't know what to do. So finally he left. Well, I hadn't seen him no more. So, okay, I go out to my car, right? Because I'm needing to check and make sure my oil ain't low. You know, every time, a little time, you know, I have to get out there and check it because I don't want to get low and, you know, blow my, mo my motor up, you know. So I'm going to go out here and do a routine check. Y'all, I get out here. I lift up my hood. I'm finna grab for the stick. Lord behold, here is the groundhog, the beaver. Ah! And when I lifted up the hood, I screamed and he turned around scared like, like I opened up the shower and he was naked type of shit. So he turned around and went back down and I slammed the motherfucking hood down and I ran in the house piddling. They have met. Woo! And by the grace of God, one of my girlfriends called that knows something about this thing because she's been a previous gardener. She felt my energy. She don't never make my phone ring. We always text it. She called. <sighs> She knows how to help me to build up a roadkill crisis. <laughs> and so she told me to go start the car. When I start the car, he gonna be gone. And I'm thinking that motherfucker is in there. He gonna be grinding up today. He gone. I'm finna get this up, bitch. And drive you ain't finna leave me stuck. And so, so, so I'm like, I'm not going back under that hood no more. I don't care if he didn't vacate the premises or not. Neither one of us like what we see. We both ran away. Reflection. And so after, after that, I went to the place and let them check my oil. I'm thinking to myself, I hope his ass don't come out on this man. Oh, Lord, I didn't tip the ground. Oh, no, Riley's. Ah! Stalking you, not the neighbors stalking you. What's the deal?
this is the time I could punch my unknown husband in the neck for not being here. I'm out here dealing with groundhog business? Are you kidding? I said I admire wildlife because I'm a Capricorn. I didn't say I wanted to be a part of it. But for some reason, I'm manifesting it. I got too much Capricorn in the recipe. I'm going to have to cut it in more with that Sagittarius and cut some of that Capricorn out. You're getting too earthy. There, there might be a part two to this because I got to research why this damn beaver over here, what this damn beef cleaver thing is. What is this damn thing that won't? Oh, I told you night and day. I don't, are you in the attic? Where are you? Where are you? It's too much game over here where I'm at. Oh, God. It drives me crazy. Wait a minute. I'm off of here, but I just had to tell y'all about this real life stalker I got. Wildlife. Who turned him loose on me? That was a horrible thing to do. Ah, I gotta figure out how to get this thing away from me. <laughs>